Alright guys, Every we made it to the event. Two, two cards filled. Someone's still hungry as always. But yeah guys, we're gonna go to the event. Uh, Sandy's gonna get some, just be real. Be real. Right, it's called be real? No. Be film, right? No, uh, be roll. Be roll. He's gonna get some B-roll of us packing <laughs> packing the carts and the bags and bringing these damn shoes in. Hi, grab the carts. I'm out here in Miami. Looking out here. for the hoochie daddies. Oh, no. Nah. No, stop, stop. Hmm? Oh, damn. Oh, okay. my cart first. Hey, you're a good looking dude, bro. Thank you, Slime. Did you get that on camera? It's just the red is just crazy to me. Oh, it's literally one accent. It's like one accent. Yeah, but it's the accent, but where's the accent? Like, there's no red here. Nah, because like, it's just supposed to be like that one outlier color. That's all it is. Right? Because I got the brown, right? On the shoes, the shirt. Green for the hat, right? And the red, it's so small. It doesn't even. Nah, like... that's a big statement. Yeah, but I'm coming in nice, though. Is a man saying outfits with the red laces on mocha shoes? But it's okay Yo, though. It's car empty. We still got that whole car full of shoes. Again, about 116 pairs exact. Good 30 pairs right here. Yeah. So uh, Sandy's gonna cut the camera here. We gotta go buy our tickets. Sure, everything's out this time. Last time we Hi guys, we're setting up the table right now. We still got four more trips, three more trips. It's the most annoying part of an event. It's setting up the table, figuring out how we can organize it, make sure it looks presentable. Uh, gonna make sure Sandy's hands and the camera is hydrated and comfortable today, because you know his last experience. Miami. No, I said Miami was a forest. Yeah, Miami was a forest. New York is gonna be so much better too. And they already have AC in here, so. And Wi Fi is so much better in here, right? So I love it. I love it. So guys, we are here at Gosso. Table's basically almost done. We got over 116 pairs, but three pairs sold already. I sold two triple pinks, made 140 profit off both. Both for the same pairs, but you know, retail. So I sold them for 155. Justin, how much you made off your first sale in Gosso? Uh, I made, uh, 20? Yeah, 20 dollars. Something like. What do you sell? Hmm? Oh, I sold the Easy, the easy 500 utility blacks. Right. We'll connect the mic right when they start playing music. It's gonna be loud as hell. Like right now, it's like everybody just moving around, so we just move over it. So right when the music plays, I'll connect the mic. Right when people start coming, we're gonna have Sandy Sands start recording everything, deals, and then Elijah and I are gonna walk around, buy some stuff. Mo and I are gonna have segments of buying things. We might interview some people. We might interview some youngins behind us because they've been doing it for a little bit. I've been seeing them for a while. But yeah, guys, stay tuned. Let's make this money. Hi guys, we're gonna be plugging the mic in five minutes. We're just eating candy. The oh, breakfast tip is right now. Already cashed out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs. Basically, we rounded up to a thousand dollars. Yeah, keep doing these deals. Uh, we're gonna do our best to start recording every little deal. Completely forgot to record this. It was just it was funny. The guys, really cool. Bro, oh, I smell money right now. Hi guys, we got a new mic. No more bullshit problems we did with last time. Yo, Moses, ready to Yo, buy? yes sir. Ready? ready to buy a whole table. Let's get these motherfucking blue bills. Let's find some good deals. So guys, it's good. <laughs> it's it's good buying now. It's just because everybody's setting up. And that's where some of the deals are because some people are trying to get rid of their pairs real quick. I need sea foams for my sister because uh, she wants that for a graduation gift. Oh, basically with three. Oh, that went off. How much? You work on a price for the six and six and a half? Yeah, I don't close a lot. Yeah, because those are small. Ooh, right, my fault. That shit's been happening the whole time. Yeah, because I'm interested from a size six through a nine woman's. Honestly, I'm trying to be an ass for most of it. Like, most? Yeah. Uh, so what's the best you could do for the six and six and a half? I see my fits. So 260 or 240? Uh, on the six and a half, around 250. 240. 240? And these are your, your sperm at three? Yeah, because. Yeah, it's basically, yeah. yeah. Can you do 280? I'll take the full size one right now. 280. 290, you take every single size. Like even the six and six and a half pack. Oh, I'm gonna do that. It's like they're smaller size of the hard movers. Just because for the six? Actually, no, we can lock those and then run 300 for the rest. 
right, guys. So when you do this shit over here, you gotta sign in because it always makes me sign out, which is annoying. Crazy thing too, guys. One pair is gonna be for my sister for her graduation gift, so she's lucky. Let's do 290, 290. Me in the middle. I want 280. You want three? Let's be in the middle. 290. It's like the nine women's are going for like two. Like the most right now is the eight and a half. It's going 307. Cause locally I can move for like 310, 320. You said 290, right? Yeah. So then move 10 on one of them. So then what'd you say? 230. 230 and 250. I could, I could do 260 if you do 290 and I, if you do 230. 240. 240? I mean 240. 240, 260, 290 ref? Yeah. Guys, full size on the sea foams, just like that. Yeah, do the math. Yeah, let's it up. Hi guys, so you see we got sea foams. I bought two 10 women's. That's like a it's like a 50 50 risk I took because 10 women's is a hard size to move and I did pay high 290, but it is what it is. You gotta make the risk. Scare money. Wait, what is it? Scare money, don't make money. So yeah, we're looking at blue size as well. I know people have been asking for those. So uh yeah, these guys got blue size for a good ass price. Um, yeah, 120, I'll take that. Hi guys, we're again, we're looking at slides. These guys over here looking for stuff. 135. 138. It's not bad, 148. That's gonna do 140. That's all I'm going What's your table, right? Uh, size 8 bone. Can you do 140 on it? Yeah, we can do 140. All right, let's run it. 40 for a size 8 bone. It's a beautiful I event. I want some, so. Woo, this event is a W right now, I'm not gonna lie. It's a W event. Our money back. Like. Ooh. This is what I like. Ooh. Oh, oh not nah, 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 nah. I ain't trying to play. Yeah, 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 I love that cheddar. Hi, guys. Our plan is to uh, go back home with new inventory. Uh, don't bring go back home with this old inventory. So we got bones, we got sea foams. Sea foams that keep going up higher. Guys, Jordan 4s are an investment in the shoe. Because when I first had these, these shits were bricking. Now they're almost at three again. All right, let's keep going, boys. All right, guys, so you see the buying segment with Mo and I and Ja. So, aka Thrust Leches, you guys know, you know, you know. So we bought slides. We bought almost full size run of four, uh, sea foams. Now we got the other owner of Strive. And we got Habibi Cells, aka he's changing his name soon, right? Yes. All right, let's go cash out. Don't, don't, don't listen to his attitude. But let's see what these guys are going to cash out. I mean, I feel pretty good right now. Uh, thank God. God did. All right, God did. Let's go. You and I. Let's see what Habibi Sells wants to buy. Let's see. Yo, yo, let's see if Habibi Sells can negotiate. Guys, let's see if this man is a real, real businessman. Because he just started, too, so. All right, let's see. Let's see what you got. What are you looking for? UNC Toe 1, size 7. Oh, he's looking for a Nina Hito sack. What's bro got? Five watts? Nine and a half? Seven? Seven? No, what's going on? You have a seven watt in the UFC toes? No, I only got a five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro, coñas. Yeah. Yeah. Where can I? Alright, alright, so. I mean, mm, so, it's like what, 140 good? Yeah. One seventy. One fifty. One fifty five. One fifty five. One fifty five. I'll take it. I take coin flip. I, I was about to say coin flip that. I don't gamble. <laughs> nah, I don't know, man. I'll spin the block again. Let's see if she got it, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry.
Nah, I'm not gonna lie, yo. Don't cut that out. It's it's, it's truth. All right, so can we do one forty for them? Forty. Right, then what's the lowest you can do then for me? So I'm trying to get a good deal right now. I'm asking for 140, right? If they give me for like 150, I'll take it too. Instantly. I'm learning a little bit. Hold on, hold on, wait. No one's trying to do a coin flip. Hi guys, so we're on day two. Got sold. We set up the table. We sold half our inventory from yesterday. But while we're setting up, we uh, job bought a pair of pandas, but I bought some essential hoodies because people always are asking for clothing. I paid below retail for them, not telling how much I paid below retail, but I'm um, a little uh, W for my end. I lost the coin flip, but then I still won because that guy lost his bread, and I'm making my bread. But yeah, so we paid four hoodies below retail. Uh, Mike's gonna be connected a little later today when we start working on some deals. Our goal is to sell up most of the table, so we go back home with basically 90% brand new inventory. Or 10% maybe old stuff that stays back. But yeah guys, so that's the update. Let's see how day two goes. We're gonna do like a prayer together, a little huddle, just pray success happens today. None of that guys, you're gonna see clips throughout the day. Points living, 145, 150 for two crafts, five and a half and six. Calling it? Size nine woman, it's gonna move from 180 locally. We also got we got the gray version of them. Just cause not every girl likes pink, so we got gray. It's one of the new dunks, very beautiful quality. I love them personally. Job bought some two tones. These move like crazy locally. Everybody loves these. Right now, I'm gonna do one lap and see if I get a better price on a six, six and a half women's and the pink ones. If not, I'm gonna come back and get them for 130 just because everybody's asking 145, 150 for them. And that's so far the best price I got was 130. I bought four yesterday for 135. $5 makes a lot of difference, especially in this business. You guys will understand if you guys watch a lot of YouTube videos. But yeah, guys, camera will be back on when we start finding more things to buy and other things to find. So you guys know day one, I bought a full size run. I'm still missing a size eight, and I cannot find in this damn event. But five, five and a half, man's asking 200, but these are very small size shoes. So Devin right now is debating if he's gonna buy them or he might just lowball him and offer a smaller because these are small shoes. Like, this is a very small shoe. Not every girl's a five and five and a half woman. It's a beautiful shoe though. If I was Devin, I'll offer 180. <laughs> if I buy both, can you do 180? I can do 200 on both. 
That's on you. You can see a gamble. 180, 200. All right, I'll do it. it. Do it. You got a coin? Yep. Hey guys, we're going to see if I take either a huge, huge L or a huge W. Something. Cameraman, what do you think I should do? I don't care. Okay, what do you think I should do? Well, I'm flipping it, so he's on the phone. You want me to call it? You call it, I'll flip it. Tails. Damn. Damn. So far, I'm one and one <laughs> for, coin, for coin flips. Hit my shoe. Huh? Hit my shoe. Oh. I was going to tell you, wait for it until I heard it. Oh, no, for sure, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Alright, y'all. So far, one W, one L on the coin flips today. We're eight and, <laughs> we're eight and two right now. This is the only loss you should have today. Because as long as it's not me, I'm good. I hope you get everybody else. Bro. It's not a bad record. We're eight and two. Oh, that's not bad at all. What's Jaws record? That's all it was. Tell you guys, I'm telling Justin because Justin like Justin got excited. He's like 200. I'm like, yeah, but like these are very small sizes. Devin took the gamble and he lost. But it is what it is. But again, he, Devin took the gamble because Justin brought these up and he's like, damn, these are a good price. I'm like, yeah, but it's a small size. That's why he's selling for 200. But and yeah, they, Devin took the elbow. And in reality, Devin can move these locally for 260. Easy. It's a Jordan 4. Girls love their 4s. And it's a beautiful shoe. Alright, next table. Alright guys, we found more needleworks. Told you we've been looking for these. Uh, what size is it again? Nine. Alright, so seven and a half and a nine women's. We're not getting a ten women's because that's uh, eight men, so eight and a half, and that's size. And if I don't sell it, I keep it. That's my size. You guys can do 145, right? Okay. Alright, he wants 150. Man says firm. Alright, Devin's taking them for 150. That's 300. Move them locally for like two. Devin got them. Again, guys, we're gonna try to get a full size one of these. Just because, look at, I love full size runs on them. And we're looking for more new balances as well. Alright, guys, you always, you always have to double check your pair. Oh, yeah, right here, too. Alright, guys, they look worn, so. What about the other one? Can you take the five foot saws and do it for 145 for that one? That one's not worn, right? Alright, we'll see if you can take five bucks off that because it looks like it's been worn or tried on it and I'm not trying to buy that. But yeah, guys. Either way, a W buy though. So next clip is us on another table buying maybe needleworks or more. Alright, he went down five bucks. But guys, next table is going to be maybe Justin buying something or a segment with the cameraman. I love having segments with the cameraman. Oh, my lips. Oh. Alright, guys. So Justin might be catching his eye on new balances. Finally something. It's just... These are Paddle 1. If you don't know what Paddle 1 is, something will put up on the screen a definition of that shit. Or a photo of it. But yeah, we're teaching him. So now, look at His eyes are on a prey. He's hunting. He found something. How you feeling? They, they look clean, but like a little scuff mark right here. A little discoloration. I don't know. What size is that? How much you gonna offer him? I don't even know. Then I'm a, I'm a to eat Justin. My fault, my fault. Don't, don't be them. Don't be weird. Look, look up market. I'm not even sure what this shoe's called. Look up New Balance 550. No, pop up. All this money in my bag makes it heavy. I'm afraid he's recording. <laughs> money. <laughs> Alright, next clip is we'll be at a different table. So, guys. Guys, so Moses over here tried to have Justin get these triple pinks. But Mo's, uh, Justin said what? I don't know nobody with size five and a half feet. So all you guys here will be resellers to start your own business. You don't have to know anybody. That's the point of growing your business. You network. So all of us, we didn't know people with different sizes. And now we network it and now we have basically a good amount of people that we know their sizes. We know what size we can move. So him, he has to network and grow his brand more to start buying sizes. Like he might not know our girl is five and a half, but if he posts on his story, that girl might be a five and a half. Random girl, she'll swipe up. But one thing about Justin is he's still nervous. Is still scared, but we told him scared money don't make money. So we're gonna see if Justin's gonna buy those five and a half triple pinks. There we go. I'm gonna pass on that then. Alright, guys, good. At least, at least he offered on something, and like you're not always gonna win every deal, but he was asking a little high for that size. Hi, guys. 
the event is over. Uh, yeah, it was successful. We sold basically most of our inventory. There's like a few drag pairs, but it is what it is. We bought a lot of inventory. I got full size on the sea phones. The guys got into new styles of shoes, like new balances and stuff like that. As you can tell, B team is struggling right now. Bro, we didn't get a fit check, yo. We didn't do fit checks. None of us have fits, bro. Bro, someone lined up the beard, bro. Until <laughs> <laughs> she was like yeah. four, five days ago, bro. Line it up. JC blends right let me here. See, let me see. Nah, JC. <laughs> JC. Nah, shout out JC blends, but I'm the real cut. You know what I'm saying? I'm the real barber. Dry cut station. Yo, follow me. Wait, Justin, come over here. What's on that plate then? Yeah. Like right there, on the screw. Just smack my ass, bro. No, I'm not trying. I'm, already, I'm playing 3D chess. I know you. If I wanted to smack your ass, I would have already. Chips. Woo! Woo! 3D chess? Check me. Yo, take guys, I was about to do an outro when I get home, but I feel like I get home like at midnight. But, guys, that's the end of the video. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed the two parts of this video. Not two parts, this whole one video of the vending and by the old love to y'all. Let's hit 100 subscribers. 2K on my TikTok, 2K on my personal YouTube, not my YouTube, on my personal TikTok, and 2K on Strive Shooters IG.